good morning. We are in the car on the way to Port Arthur. Hello. As we've been driving around, we've noticed that the speed limits here are way higher than pretty much anywhere else I've been in Australia. Um, it's pretty twisty turny roads and like the average speed limit seems to be around 100 to 110 kilometers an hour, which is hilarious because like you'll pull up to a town and it goes, oh, slow down to 70. I'm like, what do you mean slow down to 70? Like everywhere else, it's been a slow down to 50. Only go to 70, don't worry, it's fine. Where do we go from here? We could go anywhere. So round two, we stopped for coffee. We stopped in here. I don't know where we are. Where are we, Glenn? We are at some art galleries, like cafe, in between. Hobart and Port Arthur. That's all I got for you. That's all I know. So I found out we're in Don Alley and we ordered a ratatouille, a soup, and some coffees. It's perfect, good timing. And we only stopped here because there was the, um, the bridge to go across to the next spot. Um, the bridge turned so the boat could come through. So we're like, hmm, let's take it as a sign. Let's go get some food. Noticed I have green on me. Where did you come from? It's cold in the shade, isn't it? I haven't got a phone anymore because it broke, so I'm just playing with my wallet. <laughs> Life is really awkward without a phone. You just kind of sit here and do this. I was more doing that than the fact that you copied me with your plaid. How Canadian do we look? Very. Chris is like five years old. Every single time she sees swings, she's like, yes, we have to pull over now! And we just found this slide on the side of the road, so Chris is like, I need to go on that now. What are you doing? Over. I'll just walk to the gate. Come all the way to Tasmania and play on swings. We can go home now. So we decide, let's go around this corner. We drive around the corner, and oh my god, look at this view. This is insane. This is gorgeous. Holy hell. Tasmania, you do not disappoint. We found a museum, and we found a handy dandy informational sign. I freaking love reading these things. It literally brought convicts to serve out their sentences here. Like, how strange is that? I don't know, I find that just mind blowing. There's so many things to read, I love it. Glenn just goes, I can't believe convicts built this. And we look up and we're like, oh, yep. <laughs> yep, they did. <laughs> absolutely incredible reading all the stuff on the walls here and it just is mind-blowing that so many white colonies would come into so many places all over the world and just obliterate any type of native or aboriginal living there like it's just it's humbling to think how cruel and awful people were and I just it it makes me sick more than anything I can't believe that anyone would ever treat people like that like they would pay people to kill aboriginals Holy shit, it's heavy stuff. So I'm glad we came in here and there's so much cool information, but it's definitely very sobering information as well. We found some Tasmanian devils. It's not a zoo, it's an unzoo. So the guy that was doing the presentation when they were feeding the Tasmanian devils was saying that on the roads here they have like signposts that um, catch the light of your car headlights and when it does that it um, sets off a siren outside so that it scares all the Tasmanian devils and all the wildlife away from the road so that you don't hit it. Um, obviously with the Tasmanian devils being close to extinct that's a huge problem that they are getting hit on the road so often so that's what they come up with to, to stop that. 
But um, we're just about to go, oh my god, into the kangaroo little spot. Oh, I love kangaroos, oh my god. Love that the Joey's legs are just like, yep, just chilling. It's just so funny that they go head first. Yeah, just, <laughs> limp. just like, let me just hang out in here. Scratching my ass. Oh, you like the scratches, you do. Oh, that was nice. I may or may not have spent the last 30 seconds trying to get out of there. Pushing on a wall, not actually the door. Such a blonde. kind of zoo. We're the ones that are trapped inside. It's exactly the way it and should be. And they get to come and look at us. It's the exact thing they should like, be. like, who are these little weird looking species? Look at these non-furry little fucks. <laughs> That's what they're thinking. Glenn and I are going to play poo sticks. Um, we picked up sticks off the ground. This is a game that I played as a this child. Is the winner. No, no chance. You pick up a stick and you go to one side of the stream. You drop it in. Go. And you see whose stick makes it to the other side first. <laughs> and I'm totally going to win. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, yeah! I win, I win. I'll forever win at Pooh Sticks. I never beat you. Nope, I have too much practice. I really enjoy that all of our stops have been like, quick, wait, stop, there's something on the other side of the road. Gotta do it. <laughs> the best kind of traveling. I'm so excited we found the Lavender Farm because I really wanted to go here. Plus, inspired by nature. So from handcrafted soaps to our own brand of certified organic skincare. Yeah, I know it's in my head. Still, I can't remember what you said. This is crazy. This kid was 16 and sentenced to seven years for stealing a coat. What the fuck? He was just cold. Let the boy be warm. I think the craziest part is, like I've always known that like Australia was basically built from convicts com coming to this country, but you'd always assume like, oh, they must have been really bad convicts in order to be sent all this way over here. And in reality, it's people that did like petty theft or like the tiniest crimes. It's crazy, I can't believe it. They were super young too, the youngest few were nine years old. It's crazy. I thought I'd find you in here. Fuck this. No, no, no. Could you imagine? Holy shit. This oh my god. Can we just, just, just hold on a minute? We're stuck in here for 12 weeks. Fuck this shit. It's so small. Oh, I would hate this. I would absolutely hate this. Nope.
um, it's like what 10 p.m. ish. Glenn's taking his socks off. We're getting right comfortable. Um, we're gonna leave you guys here. Thank you so much for following our adventures today. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video because it shares out to new people, and we love to meet new stranger friends. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.